All right, everyone, it seems like everybody enjoyed part two of our Little Mermaid on a series. So now I can tell you part three. Aren't you excited, Krista? Yay, Mom, I can't wait for you to tell me the rest of the story. I just, I can't contain myself. It was, it was left off as such a good part that the prince picked her up from the beach and, and they were going to the castle. Oh, yes, yes. The prince took the little mermaid, Anna, to his castle. They cleaned her up and now they were eating a nice quiet dinner with Anna, the prince, and his father. Hey, Dad, uh, I want to introduce you to my new princess. I found her at the beach earlier today. She was just wearing, like, a piece of an old sail, and, um, yeah, she was kind of dirty and stuff. So I took her home to the castle, cleaned her up, and, no, I think she looks super pretty. Yes, son, I am so excited. You finally found a pretty girl, and the darling looks very sweet, and, um, you know, you're just so picky when it comes to girls. You know, I just thought you'd never end up wanting to get married or anything, so I'm actually quite glad. I mean, it's kind of random that you just found her on the beach, kind of washed up, but I will not complain. So, dear, what's your name? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention she doesn't talk. I I don't know, maybe a really bad case of laryngitis or something. Um, yeah, but you know what? I think it's okay that she doesn't talk. We could just probably make up a name for her or something. My, that is quite strange. I have never seen such a thing. Anyways, young lady, you have picked a fine young man to be with. My son here is one of the top fishermen in all of the country. Kristoff loves eating fish and fishing for fish, and especially crabs. In fact, I have a whole pot of boiling hot crab right here on the table. Oh yeah, I just love fishing. Sometimes I'll take my crew out and, well, you know, just throw our nets in, grab tons and tons of fish, oh and crap, mm, so good. Flounder, have you ever had flounder? Oh, that's delicious. I've even harpooned a whale before. Oh dear, I insist that you try some of these succulent, buttery, sweet crab legs. They are some of the finest in this entire area. Oh, Dad, don't push it. She might not like crab. You know, there's a lot of people out there who don't like eating fish, or maybe she's allergic to shellfish or something. So, um, come on, Princess, why don't we just go out for a nice little boat ride on the pond? Mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, you two lovebirds, you have fun now. <laughs> oh, to be young. Hey, you lover boy, down here. Whoa, what in the world? Crab, are you talking to me right now? Oh man, what did I eat? Hey, you know what, I promise I won't eat crab legs again. Yes, you, I'm talking to you, silly. If you like this girl, then you need to kiss her. You need to kiss the girl. Wait, what? A crab is seriously talking to me right now, telling me to kiss this girl? Not just a crab, a flounder too. Come on, just kiss her, kiss the girl, just do it. Okay, either I'm going crazy, or maybe this pond is like super magical or something. Um, but you know, either way, this girl is super pretty and I like her, so... You know what, I'll listen to the crab and fish and kiss the girl. Okay, um, this is going to sound really crazy, but a crab and a flounder just swam up and told me I should kiss you, and I'm like totally cool with that. So, um, is it okay if I kiss you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm
Oh no, oh no, you must wake up, you must come. The prince, he's marrying some random girl right now. I've never seen her before, but he's just marrying her out of nowhere. Maybe he was hypnotized. But you must hurry, they're getting married on the boat right now, and there's only an hour till sunset. Mm. Oh yes, and you slept in um super late, that was not a good idea. Mm. We are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage between my son, Prince Christoph, and this young lady that he'd randomly met just last night. I have no idea why he decided to get married to her, especially since he already met a young lady three days ago, but hey, I will not complain because he is quite desperate. So, let's get this show on the road. Wow, I never thought I'd be marrying somebody that I just met a couple hours ago, but I'm just infatuated with you. It's almost like you put a spell on me or something to love you. Oh, uh, a lot of spell. No, but I wouldn't do that. But, um, you know what? I just want to steal a deal here, so why don't you kiss me, like, right now? Because the sun is setting, and I just want it to be really romantic. Uh, okay, whatever you say there. Um... Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Sorry, sweet cheeks. The deal is done. I kissed him, and the sun has set. He is all mine, and I'll be able to keep this beautiful voice forever. <laughs> Why are you laughing so creepy? <laughs> Oh, you were a mermaid? You were half fish this entire time? Oh, I did not see that coming. Oh, she's not the only one, baby. I've got a big surprise for you. <laughs> oh boy, that sea witch is creepy. And we're at a really suspenseful point in the story right now because little mermaid Anna just got turned back into a mermaid and the evil sea witch is now married to Prince. Oh no, I'm just like so worried for the little mermaid Anna and, I, and she really should have kissed him when she was on the boat. What was she thinking? Mom, you gotta tell me part four now. No, sorry Krista, not tonight. It's getting too late. Plus, you know the drill. We need 5,000 likes for me to tell part four of the story. So please give a like to this video. Subscribe to Disney Car Toys, and in the comments, let us know if you think the Little Mermaid Anna should have kissed the prince in the boat. Okay, everybody, you heard the lady. Please click like and subscribe. I really want to hear part four. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video, and click on the question mark to watch a mystery video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.